What is up, this got the family? What is up, this got the family? Welcome back to another episode of this got with Mendy. And in this episode, I talk about the best tools that I think can help beginner business owners, maybe like you, I don't know, I'm assuming, in building, running, and maintaining your beloved baby business. Hopefully they make your life as an entrepreneur a little bit easier. But before that, alam mo na, click the subscribe button. Subscribe now if you wanna watch more videos on this carte like this one. Tool number one is Notion. You can be working on a digital or retail business, solo or in a team, there is some way you can use Notion to build or optimize your business. So the way I like to think of Notion is it is my very own Wikipedia for myself, both for my personal life and my business. But on top of that, it can also be a to-do list plus a project management app all in one. So everything is centralized in one nifty app. And so as you can see here, the way I'm doing it is you can keep your entire knowledge base or database about your product or your business on here. May it be your business journal or your personal journal. You can write strategies for your business, your clientele list or your supplier list. Basically, you can keep your directory here. Business processes, random ideas that you have. You can use it as a tracker for anything. Literally, I use it as a tracker for some books that I wanna read. I also use it for recipes, so it's really easy for me to keep track of everything that I've been cooking nowadays. And then it is also a to-do list. Daily, weekly, and monthly to-dos. They've got multiple templates for that. You can structure it yourself. You you can structure it into a Kanban. You can even build your entire social media plan on here, which I've done before. And last but not the least, you can use it as a project management platform for both yourself and your team. Personally, this I cannot just, guys, this Notion is so important for me. I even wrote this episode on Notion. My entire video production process and monitoring, project monitoring is on here. You can build it from scratch. There's so many templates out there which you can just download and apply to your own Notion account. Now you can argue that you've already got a note-taking app or you've already got a to-do app. And you could argue as well that there's so many other apps that can do to-do or, or notes or project management better than Notion, but I do not think you will find one that can do everything all in one. As an entrepreneur, I think that is beneficial having everything centralized in just one app. Just my five cents. Guys, managing a business in on itself is difficult already. Making sure that you've got enough inventory, making sure that you attend to messages immediately because you lose sales if you don't, making sure that they're invoiced correctly, making sure that they know where to pay or how to pay. And on top of all of that, ang pinakamahirap sa akin is yung fulfillment process, guys. Sobrang hassle talaga. Making sure that you've actually received the payments, that you deliver on the right day. It was just, just a mess. Throughout the past couple of months, I've actually been looking for a store management platform because I was having difficulty managing my business. And that is why I have partnered up with Enstack, who is the sponsor of this episode. They've got a single sign-up process. These are the requirements. All you have to do is submit these. You'll get verified. And once you do, you get access to literally all their solutions, all their features. They've got a chat store where you can accept orders over Facebook Messenger automatically. Like I said a while ago, you have to make sure that you reply to customers as quick as possible because if not, they'll be looking elsewhere. They've got so many other people that they can ask for that product, for your service, and if you don't reply immediately, then they're lost, then they go to competitors. And doing that with Nstack, you can craft automated replies and accept orders through Facebook Messenger. This syncs with the back end of Nstack, meaning you can see the actual orders at a glance. They offer multi-channel payment solutions and automated invoicing. They accept major e-wallets, bank deposits, and even remittances if you sell offshore. Paired with that, they can take care of your invoicing to complete the entire payment process. And this is the kicker and what I really, really liked about Nstack when they spoke to me. They told me that they have partnered directly with courier providers and courier services. You literally don't have to switch apps, guys. Is what 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 this takes away a lot of the hassle that we go through just to make sure that the order is fulfilled you get access to same day shipping which is very important for food you also get both standard and nationwide shipping plus you can even offer COD payments which is as everyone would know is the go-to for most people and last but not the least you get a full suite CRM guys this is where you can do your inventory it can actually do your accounting for you it can track your data and because of the data you can do analytics guys this and what really really blows my mind is that this app is for 
free. Guys, if you're an entrepreneur, maybe you're a beginner, or if you've been doing this for a while and you don't have a store management software or platform yet, I highly recommend you downloading NStack. If you wanna use my code, DWM NSTAC, when you download, if not, I don't care. What's important is you get a store management platform to help you out because it does really have value to entrepreneurs like us. Next on the sheet is fairly elementary, but I will still highly recommend them, and that is G Suite, specifically, Google Sheets. The cost of this is free. All you have to do is have a Gmail account, which almost all of us has. Also, I haven't seen a lot of people recommend Google Sheets. I think the main barrier to entry of this is that a lot of people think it's difficult to do or difficult to use, but really it just takes fundamental. So brang calculator lang nito, guys. But overall, like I said in my other video, if you want to watch that, knowing your numbers is so infinitely, unfathomably critical to the success of your business. You can compute for your costings or your cogs using this as I have for almost all of my businesses. You can do your accounting if you haven't engaged an accountant yet. You can track your inventory and supplies. You can put down recipes or mixes for your business. I use it to track orders and results of surveys that I put out. And overall, you can do data analysis on anything you put on there. Guys, Google Sheets lang. Sobrang dami na matutulong siya. There's so many tutorials out there. Meron ang templates that can help you run your business just using Google Sheets. Next Next up is WordPress or Wix, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable using, but what's important is that you have a website. I think not a lot of local entrepreneurs have a website for the fear of it being difficult to make, it being difficult to use, and it being expensive. But for me guys, oversaturated na ang marketplaces like Lazada, Shopee, Facebook Marketplace, there's so much competition. And what you want to think about is what will set you apart. What can you do to one-up the competition? What can you do to gain validation that you are a serious business what can you do to make sure that your customers your potential customers trust you more guys amongst the plethora of upsides of having a business website the biggest benefit for me is that anyone that goes to your website you can ask for their details if they give you their details that just means they're very interested in your product in your store in everything that you have to release in that way you can keep them updated if you've got new products if you've got updates on products, if you've got promos, discounts, and so on. You can even do full memberships. And my point is, it can enable you to build a database with people that have already shown intent that they like your product. And on top of that, because you have a website, you can now rank for SEO. If you don't know what SEO is, it is simply search engine optimization. It's the process of making sure that you are as searchable as you can be through Google. Having a website builds your branding, your trust. You can house your shop inside the website and don't have to pay for any commissions on any platform. You can practically do anything on your website that will benefit your business, but do your own research. All I'm saying is, guys, make a website yourself through WordPress or Wix or have one made. It is very much worth it. Next up is Hootsuite. In this day and age, every business needs a social media management tool. Marketing strategy pa lang guys, napakahirap na. What more ang execution if you're doing it on your own, if you're doing it manually? You can argue that Facebook already has its own tools, but have you been there? Have you <laughs> have you actually seen the tool? I often get lost in it. I Or maybe I haven't had the time to learn it. If you think it's easy, post down below, but my point is, that thing is very confusing. But having a tool to help your business gain more visibility, gain more engagement, gain more traction through social media, which everyone knows is so crucial. And that's why Hootsuite exists. It helps you post on multiple platforms and track their performance individually. On the other end, the professional tier, which I think honestly is really worth it, it's what I use, has literally got everything you need to get ahead of the social media game for your business. And again, if you think this is too expensive for you, you've got the Facebook tool, which you can probably learn if need be. You've got other tools, which just, just ranges from anywhere between $15 to $30. But guys, check out the free version of Hootsuite. Check out how it can help your business. Check out how easy it is to use. At the end of the day, guys, tools are just that. Tools are accessories to your success. What is important is that your product actually gives value to consumers. Just make sure that whatever you introduce into the market, it makes someone's life a little bit better. Sell quality products is my point. Guys, if you haven't yet, subscribe now for more videos like this one. Maybe even follow me on Instagram for more Descarte. Thank you so much for watching. And as I always say at the end of every episode, keep healthy, stay humble, and appreciate the small things. My name is Mendy, and this has been Descarte with Mendy. The way I deliver, they post My neck got a compass to know where we're going.